Hey y'all, this is AL Thick Madame and this is the recap review for Put a Ring on It. So <laughs> we start we left off and just like I told y'all, Michael wanted a third date with Whitney. And of course Shay is infuriated. She is done. And I'm like, girl, I don't understand why is it that when you are the one who goes first and you say, no, I don't want a second date. And then he comes up behind you and he's like, yeah, I want a second, third or whatever date. Then you bet. But then when every time Dr. Nicole has her to go after him and he says, yeah, I love a second date. Then all of a sudden she's like, well, yeah, I mean, I had a great time with this person. So I would go on this second date too. And it's like, you're only, this is literally tit for tat. Like, why don't you do this? in an effort to really learn from the process. I can't stand that. It, it, it really is infuriating. So anyway, um, they took a moment out to talk to Hollywood while they still had everybody there. And Hollywood has some, um, I guess you could say, childhood trauma that has spilled over into his adult life because his mother was single and he never had anything to pull from to see what a good example of what the perfect husband could be. And we all know that nobody's perfect, but I'm just saying like he had nothing to, you know, build a canvas. He, he had no canvas to, you know, look at and to be like, okay, I don't have anything to look for over here. My mama over here, she's single. And when she was mad with my daddy, she would call him and say certain things to him. And he actually felt like his mama didn't want him, even though she indeed loves him. So he felt all sorts of emotions that he should not have been feeling as a child. So, of course, it makes sense that he has been hesitant to go forward in a marriage with Ashley. So I'm glad that he's addressing these things because it does make sense now. Y'all, Vince ended up going out on his date and it went all right. It went all right. It wasn't bad. Y'all, side note, Vince, I already told y'all to me he is fine. He looked good, all of that. But I really like his eyes and guys like him when they wear glasses, I don't know what it is. It just amplifies how nice their eyes look to me. Cause when every time he wear his glasses, I'm just like, oh my gosh, yes. Wear your glasses all the time. Just wear them all the time. I'm here for it. Like, and people, <laughs> people like when I wear my glasses, <laughs> but I'm like, like when I'm doing stuff like this, I'm gonna have to look like this the whole time <laughs> because you're gonna see a glare. This is just one of my pairs of glasses, but like people like my glasses on or they like I'm off and I'm like, I just want to see. <laughs> I'm just saying. But anyway, Vince looks amazing with his glasses on. It, it really brings his eyes out. I don't know what it is about guys who have eyes like his when they wear glasses, especially if they are frames that fit their face. It looks really good on them. I just had to say that, y'all. I've been mean, I've been wanting to say that <laughs> for a while. So anyway, Ashley answered the door and Hollywood's date was there. Hollywood in the confessional talking about his date thicker than a snicker. I was like, sir, <laughs> why are you doing this? So anyway, y'all, the little scene that we saw from the preview last time is what we end up seeing the entirety of this time, which was him taking the hands of his date and Ashley, praying to God and saying, thank you for this beautiful sexy woman on this side of me and thank you for this beautiful sexy woman on the other side of me i got two beautiful sexy women in my house lord i'm dating them at the same time i was like sir it has to stop <laughs> it's so hilarious but anyway y'all ashley had me die y'all i was screaming so they was leaving for the date and so you know he was being a gentleman and, and being a man at the same time and let the woman go out first right and so Ashley grabbed Hollywood and was like, don't play with me. Don't play with me. And he kept on saying <laughs> with that booty fat though. He kept saying with that, but that booty though. Y'all know he wasn't saying booty. But yeah, he was like, but that booty though. I was like, oh my gosh. She was like, don't play with me. I was like, oh my gosh. So anyway, y'all, to me, the date that he had, it didn't go all that great. And I was just like, <sighs> okay. 
to me, that was like the first date that he had that I was just like, mm mm. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh uh. So, uh, the whole time, she just wanted to know about Ashley and what was going on in their relationship and why are we at this point. And, you know, what about the rings and, and wedding bells and all this other stuff? And so he was like, I mean, I proposed to her and all of this and basically gave her the background story on all of that. And it's just a turnoff. You know, if he's trying to get to know you to, you know, really get into the process, how he going to move forward and know what he need to do? And if he wants to move forward with Ashley, if you not even helping with the process, you were brought in to help with the process. You over here hindering it because you just want to be stuck on Ashley. I was like, oh my, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was like, why she keep talking about Ashley and their relationship? So anyway, meanwhile, Ashley was over at Cascade Roller Rink. Y'all, oh my gosh, I have always wanted to go. I used to love skating. I had a regular pair of skates and I had an inline pair of rollerblades, y'all. Loved to skate. Skating is so amazing, y'all. It is amazing for your heart. Great cardio. I want to get back into that so bad. I've been talking about getting back into that. I really need to buy a pair and just go out and do it. Find a place around here where I can do it and feel comfortable and have my weaponry on me so just in case somebody want to run up there and get done up but I really do plan on getting back into that because it really was amazing loved it so they rollerblading roller skating enjoying themselves the vibe was amazing his name was Kwame and Kwame was fine Kwame fine as I don't know what that was the finest person I'd have seen them put on this show shoot he might have been he might be finer than everybody that's been on this show and on this season's uh ready to love i mean he Kwame fine so anyway <laughs> so they're talking he's from new york you know she's from louisiana and they're talking and they vibing and i was like okay oh i'm here for it so yeah they have a, a really good connection um so then uh i already told y'all how that date was going with hollywood i can't um michael said that shay is being extra and you know she's waiting for her date to come and pick her up or whatever old boy come to the door <laughs> michael is not here for it like he really feel like she being extra and doing the most and going all out for this date so you could tell he's having a slight jealous moment and i'm like okay go do what you do show these emotions but yeah he feel like she's a little bit too excited so rick is her date and um tell me why <laughs> Man, Mike was being so shady. Mike went to the door, answered the door, and told that man, you a little bit too light-skinned. I was like, no, don't say that. But yeah, that's what he said. But uh, <clears throat> they were talking on their date, and she thinks that everything is going great on every single date. She feels the heat in every single date. The heat is coming up off of her and whoever she's having a date with every single time. And oh boy, glad he did this. He brought up kids, asked her, you know, about kids. How he, how does she feel about kids? He wants kids. And so she was looking like <laughs> when he brought her up and asked her if she wanted some. And Shay is kind of tall she has a model type height she's five foot eight and so he was like oh i mean five foot ten excuse me so he was like oh my gosh because he he's he played basketball overseas for like seven eight years that's what he's been doing and so he brought up the fact that it would be amazing if you know they were to get together and had kids and so she was like i'm so sick of people saying that and i'm like that is expected you know that is very much so expected and so y'all know she and her feelings. Y'all know she don't want no kids. I'm just like, why are we discussing this? She don't want no kids. She don't even want to be around somebody who already did the job that she would have to do. Won't have to worry about wrecking her figure like a lot of these women be worried about. And I'm just like, get you a man that got no kids then. I'm so tired. So anyway, Tamika went out on her date. And they had a little connection. They both went to Clark Atlanta. 
<laughs> but yeah, they seemed like they had a nice little connection. Michael had an outdoor date. If I don't want to say picnic because of the setup, but it was outside. It was at a table. But I mean, I just don't want to say picnic. I don't. And I have other reasons as well. If you know the history, you know what if you know, you know. So yeah, um, they discussed what was going on in his relationship, and you know, he was like, you know, I do feel like it's unfair that we have not been able to talk and all of that. And he talked about Zion moving in and how Shay ain't here for it. And she was in her confessional, like, well, you know, if I was with him, there would be no question. Like, I don't understand. And I'm like, girl, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's crazy. You get with you get with somebody who matches you and what you want. Why would you want to sit up there and get with somebody and you know the situation off rip? She knew he had a child. That child was six years old when she got with him. So I'm not understanding. Excuse me, y'all. I'm not understanding. So yeah. But yeah. Her dimples are everything. I've been meaning to say that too. I kept forgetting. But her dimples, Whitney's dimples are everything. So yeah. Their date went great. So everybody ended up linking up with Dr. Nicole. Michael enjoyed his date. Shay, Shay was hyping her date up. And so he actually was having moments where he was showing that he was jealous. And since these dates have been happening, he's actually wanted to spend more time with her. And I'm like, girl, you should be happy about these moments. Like, you better enjoy all of this going on. Be thankful for this process. But oh, I think that's going to be short-lived. I'm sorry. I ain't here for their relationship. Because she is not here for her for his child. That is a package deal. So anyway, <clears throat> Vince and Tamika had a pretty, they had pretty tame dates. Even though they went well to me. Um, but apparently before their, before her date got there, they had had, uh, a very, they had a moment. It was really bad. And she was like, well, I did like you told us that we should do and just ask what we're going to ask and talk how we're supposed to talk. And the way he responded was the typical way. But apparently it was just the same old routine. She was asking things. He, she was asking questions. She was asking leading questions. So it's like you really didn't. You didn't ask straight out what you wanted to know. You wanted to ask a question. If, and what he did was he followed up her question with another question. So, you know, the communication isn't there. They aren't meshing how they should. Things can get explosive. And she immediately goes into an emotional fit of sorts. She gets, she's very quick to get emotional and start crying and all that. So yeah, I mean, it was bad. She was like, well, if you want to get petty, I can get petty too. And I mean, it was really bad. Dr. Nicole had to kind of like get in between them, so to speak, to like kind of calm the situation down. And she reiterated that you need to be direct and say what you mean. Don't go around stuff. Y'all need to communicate. Hollywood said that old girl had booty, but what really no personality to go with it. So it's like, okay, what is going on here? And so Dr. Nicole pointed out how much he was focused on the physical in the beginning of the dating process, but now he wants more to go with it. And I'm just like, yes, I'm glad that he is seeing that it's not all about booty. Goodness gracious. Um, Ashley had a great connection with her date. And um, he admitted that he's jealous about that. Tamika always passes, so I don't even know why we even ask her. For Tamika always passes, so I don't even know why she's asked from week to week whether or not she's going to you know, pass or if she's going to go out on a second date with these people. Vince uh, wants a second date. So, you know, they want to know her reaction and she was kind of like, oh, well, I mean, I'm not in the moment right now, so I can't really tell you how I respond or react until I'm in the moment. But you can tell she's obviously bothered. Michael wants to go on a fourth date with Whitney. And so, of course, Shay want a, a second date with Rick. Now, if he had said, no, I don't want to go on a second date, she would have said no to Rick. So I'm just like, why are we doing this tip for tat? Why are you doing this? Like, stop. Then he actually was showing an emotional connection and she dismissed it talking about nobody cares and I'm 
was just like, girl. So anyway, it all ended with Hollywood passing on his date as usual. But Ashley said she wants to go out on a second date with Kwame. He was upset, y'all. He was so upset. I was like, oh, gosh. He went off. He was like, no, nah, man. I'm passing on every... Basically, let us know. He going to pass on everything because in his mind, if you want to sit up there and keep on building a stronger connection with these people, that means you like these people. He said he feel like if you go out on a second date, you like this person. You want to be with them. You need to leave me alone then. Leave me out of it. I'm done. Like, I was like, oh, my God. Uh, I thought that he was going to say sec say yes to a second date with like other people before this person because I didn't see it at all for this person. But yeah, he's very upset at this point. But yeah, y'all, that was the recap review for Put a Ring on It. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Please like this video and comment down below. I want to talk to y'all. I, I want us to go on ahead and have a good old discussion about what went on. Y'all have a good one and I'll see y'all in a few minutes for... Ready to love. Bye.